In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to predict spontaneous redox reactions and sketch electrochemical cells. The question reads, without calculating the standard cell potential, predict whether each redox reaction is spontaneous. If the reaction is spontaneous as written, make a sketch of the electrochemical cell in which the reaction could occur. If the reaction is not spontaneous as written, write an equation for the spontaneous direction in which the reaction would occur and make a sketch for the electrochemical cell in which a spontaneous reaction would occur. In your sketches, make sure to label the anode, which should be drawn on the left, the cathode, and the direction of electron flow. We start with question A, where we have solid iron plus magnesium 2 plus, and this forms iron cations plus magnesium solid. From the way that this equation is written right now, we go from iron, which has an oxidation state of zero, solid iron, to 2 plus. That is oxidation because as you can see, iron is losing electrons becoming more positive. So connecting this with that, that's oxidation currently. On the contrary, we go from magnesium two plus to solid magnesium. That is reduction. We are gaining electrons and it's becoming more negative. Remember the acronym oil rig for future reference where oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. The next thing that I want to do is find out what their standard electrode potentials are for these reactions. So we have magnesium 2 plus. I'm just going to write this down really quickly. The reduction reaction is magnesium 2 plus, And this forms magnesium solid. And to balance this out, I'll write down two electrons here. And the oxidation is iron solid forming iron 2 plus, And we'll write down two electrons. So we're going to find the standard electrode potentials for this one first, magnesium. And we can use this chart to do that. It has an electrode potential of negative 2.37. Negative 2.37 volts. And for the other one, it's negative 0 0.45. Negative 0 0.45 volts. What's very interesting right now is that we're being told this reaction is the reduction. But its electrode potential is more negative than the other one. Notice that this is more negative than negative 0.45. Because it's more negative, it's more likely to repel electrons than the other reaction, and therefore is more likely to be oxidized, even though in this direction it's being reduced. So this one is more likely to be oxidized. And the same can be said for the other one. This is more positive than negative 2.37, therefore it attracts electrons more strongly, and so it should be reduction. So this should be reduction and that should be oxidation. Because of this discrepancy, we say that this reaction is not spontaneous. And instead, it should be going in the opposite direction, this way. So I'm gonna call this oxidation and I'll switch the reactants with the products and vice versa. And I'm gonna call this reduction and switch their direction as well. At this point, we can now draw our electrochemical cell. And as mentioned, the anode should be on the left side. The oxidation is always the anode. So I'll write down anode, and this is the cathode at the reduction end. So we have solid magnesium on one side, and over here we have solid iron. The electrons will flow from the anode to the cathode, so I'll show that the electrons are flowing in this direction. I'll call this magnesium, iron, and it is being bathed in magnesium 2 plus, and this one is being bathed in iron 2 plus. Of course, we need to create a salt bridge. We can use this illustration as that. That's a salt bridge, which connects the two cells. Of course, we can take it one step further and write down anode and cathode. So that's how you tackle these types of problems, and we're going to have to do this again for question B. Let's go ahead and do this. We need to first find out if it's spontaneous. So right from the get-go, we know that iron is losing electrons again. So that's oxidation. And this has to be reduction. Let's find out what the standard electrode potential for iron to iron 2 plus is. And we can just use this one again, negative 0 0.45. So I'll write down negative 0 0.45 volts. And over here, we're going from lead 2 plus to salt lead. Let's find out where that is. It's right here. That's positive 0 
0 decimal 13 volts. That's positive. So let's see if this is consistent. We discussed that this is oxidation and it is more negative than the reduction and that's how it should be. The oxidation should be more negative than the reduction. This one is 0 0.13, a lot more positive than of course a negative number. That being said, this reaction is spontaneous and it is in fact going in the right direction. So we can right away draw our electrochemical cell using the same schematic as before. Let me do this really quickly. We have the anode on the left side. And remember the anode is always, according to this, the oxidation reaction. And we determine that the oxidation reaction is iron. So we have solid iron here. And it's floating in iron 2 plus ions. And we have lead here. It's floating in its ions, which are two plus in charge. The electrons flow from the anode to the cathode. And we have a salt bridge connecting the two solutions. I'll also write down cathode here for clarity's sake. And there you have it. Two examples on how to predict spontaneous redox reactions. If you'd like to see the answers to questions too, please leave a comment below and I'll gladly make a video explaining how to tell if these redox reactions are spontaneous or not. We'll see you soon.